best thing about teaching, uh, I think it's fantastic when I talk to kids and they can, they're really enthusiastic about what they've learned and uh, they can tell me about what works for them and what they want to do in their future. Yeah, the martial arts is fantastic. Oh, do you know the kids were magnificent? I was impressed. Considering I was so scared and I got other teachers to come in, I haven't slept for two days, Glenn. Two days. Is the mind a bit high? Two days I haven't slept for. So worried about how these kids are going to be. But they're magnificent. So how long did the session go? Um, each one went for about an hour. Okay. And then we had plenty of food. Lots of food. Sausage sizzle. Oh, I'm glad the food was. <laughs> no, it was very, very good. And they, they um, made some fabulous posters. Fabulous posters. And great prizes. There were about, I don't know, 15 prizes. And then every student got a, a, a gift bag. Were the instructors really good with kids? Brilliant. Brilliant. They were scary. Oh, okay. He's only little. And that's one thing that a couple of the really big boys said. They couldn't believe how strong he was. Oh, okay. So they were quite scared of him. So did he run the sessions with everybody? Yeah, with everybody. Oh, okay. oh no, he ran two groups. Yeah. One group and then another. And, and we split the groups up. What were the really, you know, normally uncontrollable kids? They all went in together. And they were really, really, it was, I mean, it was a fantastic day. Okay. And we raised lots of great money. Good to hear. And I'm pretty sure they'll do it again next year. My name's Gus Napoli. I'm the principal here at John Paul Wood College. Uh, I don't teach uh, in my role, but what I what I uh, enjoy about John Baldwin College is just making a difference and just seeing how the kids and the staff actually um, evolve and grow. Busy. Yeah. Is it what Stress. you expected? Yes. Yeah, I think so. A little bit more busier than what I expected. I think it's actually possibly a little bit better than what I expected. I expected it to be... Probably a lot more stressful. Yeah. It's stressful, but I think I expected it to be stressful in a different way. But you're fortunate. You've got such a fantastic person sitting across from you yeah. in your office. And she keeps you excited about life. Yeah. I think Sorry, so Caitlin, that I'm not there with you. I think the support of the staff has been great. Yeah. That's helped. Fabulous. Yeah, you sit with great people in your area as I well. Do. I do. That makes a big difference. Yes. Glenn. You're here with us today. Can you explain for for the rest of John Faulkner College what your job is? <laughs> well, thanks for the question. And the trouble is, I've only been in the job two and a half years, and I'm still trying to work that out. Um, because I, I actually thought it was coming and actually helping the principals and the, and the leadership teams. But the trouble is, I've had to then work with people like Anne Marie, and I found that impossible. Yes. <laughs> I didn't expect to be tested so much from the kids. They test yeah. me a lot. Yes, yeah. I, I was trying to find a delicate way to put that too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably what I didn't expect so much. You're held in very high regard with the kids, though. Me? Yeah, very high regard. Really? Yeah, seriously, you are. So how did you meet that child? But it's a page and no one can access my personal Crack down. <laughs> yeah, just kind of, they, but they tested that boundary and just don't let them cross it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and when they do, you just, yeah, follow the steps that you've got. I wish I'd been there. Yeah. Thank you. Is that enough? I think so. Yeah. I knew I should have been an actress.